Welcome back to my channel. We are starting this vlog off with a leg day. So cardio first, you guys already know I ran a mile. Then I went straight to the booty building machine and I know that sounds kind of funny, but I swear that's what it's called, but it's literally just hip thrusts. I've been really trying to lift heavier recently, so I'm working in eight to 12 reps for four sets, really making sure to keep a 90 degree angle between my knees and hips so that I don't strain my back and really feel it in my glutes. It's all about mind to muscle connection here and make sure that you engage your core so you don't strain your back. From there, I went into a superset. We started with sumo squats. Here you wanna make sure that your feet have a slight outward angle and your weight should be primarily in the back portion of your feet to make sure that you feel it in your glutes. Then after that, I went into single leg RDLs. Here it's really important to squeeze your core so you don't strain your back because you should be feeling this primarily in your glutes and hamstrings. Then after that, we went into single leg squats. Here I am keeping my butt a little bit more closer to the bench so that my glutes are doing most of the work instead of the quads. To finish off my workout, I went into cable kickbacks. It's important to go slow and really engage your glute muscles with these instead of using the momentum just to kick the cable back because otherwise you won't feel it. And that was my workout. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amelie if you're new here. And I actually wasn't planning on vlogging today. It's almost 2 p.m. by the time I'm starting this vlog, so let me give you guys just like a quick rundown of my morning. Basically, I woke up around 10.30. I'm currently on winter break, so I've really just been taking full advantage of being able to sleep in. So we are feeling more than well rested. And then I headed straight to the gym. Today was a leg day for me. And I actually had a really good workout. If you've watched my other vlogs, you know I've been saying that I haven't really been feeling the most motivated recently, but always discipline over motivation. Just because you're not motivated doesn't mean that you don't go to the gym. So we've been going and I actually had a lot more motivation today than I have in the past and I had a really good workout. So that's always nice. Now I'm very energized and ready to start the day. I decided to vlog today because I'm meeting up with one of my friends to go to the mall because I am going to Hawaii on January 1st. So we're literally starting 2024 in Hawaii, which is a sign that 2024 is gonna be a great year. But this trip was kind of last minute and we weren't sure if it was gonna happen or not. So I'm very underprepared and I need to go buy some swimsuits. So me and my friend are gonna head to the mall and we're just gonna do some vacation prep, go shopping. Maybe I'll start packing today. Honestly, probably not knowing myself, but I just figured it would be a fun little last vlog of 2024 probably, but we'll see if I can grind out another video. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my travel plans. Obviously I'm gonna vlog it. It, which is super exciting. Today's video is gonna be just like a little bit of a prep with me for vacation type video and obviously prepping for vacation is more than just shopping. For me it is about feeling my best and most confident and I don't just mean physically it also means mentally just preparing myself and just doing the things that always make me feel good. So in today's vlog, we are prepping for vacation. I just had a great workout. Oh, I did want to add, I showed you guys pretty much most of my workouts during the intro of this video, but I forgot to show you guys that I did do 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. I would say I did probably more cardio than usual today. And I'm gonna be honest, it is slightly because I'm going on vacation in a week. And I think on social media, you're gonna get a lot of mixed views about prepping for vacation physically, changing how you look, increasing your cardio because you know you're gonna be in a swimsuit. At least my stance on that is that there's nothing wrong with eating a little bit cleaner, doing a little bit more cardio because you know that you're gonna be in a swimsuit because who wouldn't wanna feel like their most confident selves when they're in a swimsuit? You also have to realize that confidence is not about how you look. It is so much about how you feel about yourself on the inside. So it's more than just creating a body that you feel confident in, it's creating a lifestyle and a routine that you feel confident in because that's gonna make you feel confident in your body. So me doing extra cardio, hitting my nutrition, and just doing the things that make me feel good before a vacation, it's not about changing my body per se, it's more about knowing that I'm living 
my healthiest lifestyle that I can leading up to the vacation so that I can feel the most confident in my lifestyle choices that led up to the vacation when I'm in Hawaii. I hope that makes sense. So don't let people on social media tell you that it's not okay to prep for a vacation and have physical goals because it definitely is. As long as those goals come from a positive place and you do it the healthy and the right way. I just wanted to bring that up because I feel like that's something that's not really talked about a lot on social media. And if it is, there's a lot of different views on it. And again, everyone's going to have their own opinions. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to finish up my makeup and then I'm going to go meet Natalie for some coffee. And we're going to go shopping. Here's a quick little outfit of the day. This black top is from White Fox. These jeans are from Madewell. They're super cute. They're like cargos. And then I'm wearing Adidas campuses. I didn't have time to shower, so I just threw my hair in a quick slick back. And this is how my makeup turned out. So now let's go get some coffee. We just got Nat. Tell them what you got. I got a venti shaken espresso with... Um, peppermint cold foam. Yum. Very and good. And I honestly wasn't really in the mood for coffee, so when I'm not in the mood for coffee, I get a venti iced passion tango tea with stevia and no water. That's important. But yeah, now we're gonna go to the mall. Um, I need to get swimsuits and a cover-up for my vacation, like I was telling you guys about. What are you getting? Um, I'm just gonna look around. I need to get my boyfriend one of his Christmas presents still. And I might go to Lulu and do some damage. Yeah, so very exciting. Look who we just bumped into. Hi vlog, we're trying to shop for Hawaii. Yeah, she's going to Hawaii literally the week after I go and we're having zero luck right now because everything is all wintered out. Yep. Like sweaters. <laughs> Okay, we saw that, but it's well. I feel like that's a bit out of our comfort zone. Yep. But yeah, so we're having very, very bad luck. So downtown, here we come. Yeah, seriously. Success! Success! Yay! Now I think we are headed to Aritzia, and we were just in Lululemon, and a girl complimented my outfit, and it made my day. Back in the car. I literally failed. I had negative luck, literally. I was literally fighting the seasons though. Like everything was like sweaters, long pants, mittens. Like there was not a swimsuit in sight. <laughs> but Natalie was successful. So you wanna give him a little haul? Oh yeah. Um, I got my boyfriend's mom some things from Anthropology, And I also got the scuba sweats from Lulu in gray. So Yay. I'm very excited because I've been looking for these. Yeah. At least one of us was successful. I, on the other hand, am probably going to have to go shopping at a different store because I really need some from suits. Also, while we're here, I feel like I always get lots of questions about where my jewelry is from. It's all from Every Jewels. I just got new rings. And then this, this whole stack is from Every Jewels. Same thing with my earrings. Also, people want a uh, piercing tour. Triples. Helix, triples, conch. But anyways, okay. <laughs> now we're gonna go home and I'm probably gonna have to go to a different store. Okay, I just stopped at home really quick because I'm actually starving. I don't know why shopping just makes me so hungry. So I'm still planning to go to another store to look for like swimsuits and like a bikini cover up but I need food because I cannot shop when I'm hungry. I'm gonna make one of my favorite meals. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know what it is. It is a Greek yogurt parfait. They literally are so good. I have a sweet tooth, so this literally tastes like dessert. Since this is probably the last episode of Glomus, we have to do the quote of the vlog and the affirmation of the vlog. There's actually gonna be two quotes because they kind of go hand in hand. So the first quote is you either make the right decision or you make the wrong decision right and the second quote is don't do anything that you will regret but don't regret anything that you do and basically what these are saying is you can't always make the right decision you're not always going to like it's a fact you're gonna make mistakes but it's up to you how you perceive those choices so say you make the right decision and you feel great about it that's amazing say you make the wrong decision you can either regret it and 
hover on it and just like let it ruin your mood and your day and your week or your life like whatever that decision is or you have the power to change your mindset and choose to not regret it and make the best out of it so therefore making the wrong decision right make it work for you so that's the quote and i chose that quote just because time is flying and i'm having to make a lot of decisions right now regarding college my future just like everything in general and i've had a lot of thoughts about like what if i make the wrong decision but this quote has really helped remind me that there is no such thing as the wrong decision there's just two different decisions and whatever i choose i am going to make it work for me so that's today's quote and today's affirmation is 2024 is my year so say it with me 2024 is my year i have honestly never been so excited for a new year even though we know that 2024 is going to have like a lot of changes for me and some of them might be scary and a lot of it is like uncertain. I am trusting the universe that 2024 is going to bring good things to me and the best things that are meant for me are gonna come to me and it's gonna be my year. Just like it's gonna be my year, it's gonna be your year too. So speak it into existence. I just put Greek yogurt, stevia, and cinnamon in this. I'm gonna add in some cereal and frozen blueberries, eat this really quick, and then we're gonna go shopping to the second store. We are rushing a little bit because I just checked and the store that I want to go to closes at 5 p.m. and it is currently 4 30 so this is gonna have to be really really fast um hopefully I make it in time I actually feel so bad when I used to work at Baskin Robbins I literally would hate whenever someone came into the store like right as I was about to closing so I feel so bad for the people who work there but I need some suits so we're gonna go and we're gonna make it quick and hopefully I have better luck at this store than I did at the mall because the mall was actually awful you're kidding guys I just got to the store and I pull up and basically there's a sign on the door and they're closed for today I guess maybe because of the holidays their employees are on break or something but it's closed so I'm in my downtown and I think there might be a few other swimsuit stores so I'm just gonna walk around and see but I usually don't like to go shopping here because literally everything is so expensive for no reason it's not insane quality they're just expensive because it's on like the downtown strip so we're just gonna see and hope that I can find a swimsuit or like a dress or something for an affordable price but I'm not so sure Okay, so we're back in my car, swimsuitless and cover upless. This has been quite the eventful day with no successes. I'm so sorry that you had to come along through this day with me because I'm empty handed and you just watched the vlog where I came empty handed. Anyways, my last hope was anthropology. There was like a second store, so I went to the one in the mall and then I went to one in my downtown. And then they actually did have a cover up, but I tried it on and it was like $70. And I tried it on and it just like wasn't really my favorite. So it's good to know that they have it, but I didn't end up buying it because I wanna make sure that I really like whatever I get. So it's now dark outside and I'm gonna go home because we are going out to dinner as a family. So I have to make sure that I'm home in time for that. But we were not successful, but that's okay because we had fun with friends. Oh, I literally saw Sarah again. I forgot to tell you guys, that was really funny. We're both on the hunt for some suits. So we both failed in the mall and now we both failed in downtown. Now I'm gonna go home. We're gonna go out to dinner. I'm already ready, which is nice. I'm actually gonna carry this vlog over into tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna come back and try to go to that first original store that I couldn't go to today. So hopefully we have a little bit more luck, but anyways, let's go home empty handed and go get some dinner.
good morning it's the next day well actually I guess I should say good afternoon it's around 1 p.m. you guys saw I started out my morning by going to hot Pilates it felt so good you guys it literally kicked my butt like every class a little bit different and this one I was dying that was at 6 a.m. and then being fully honest I finished my workout class showered and went right back to sleep and then I woke up again around 10 a.m. and then I pretty much have just spent the whole morning editing this video actually I'm trying to get videos uploaded so that they go live when I'm in Hawaii so that you guys get a consistent schedule and then I'm not stressing while I'm on vacation so that was my morning now we are back in my downtown and I'm gonna go back to that that original store that I tried to go to yesterday that was closed and then I also have to stop at Lululemon because my grandma has these leggings that she really likes but they have a hole in them so I'm gonna see if they can switch it out because if you guys don't know I don't know if they still do this but in the past if you have Lululemon that has like a hole in it or whatever they have like this policy where they will either like give you store credit or switch it for you or fix it so I'm gonna go see if they can do something like that for the leggings so fingers crossed hopefully we're having better luck today also you guys it's been rainy all morning I don't know if you can tell but it's really cloudy and it's so cozy but also I'm very ready for the tropical weather that Hawaii will have hopefully also very exciting news this morning Grant is coming to Hawaii with us and I didn't say anything yesterday because we weren't for sure if it was gonna happen. We were just trying to figure out like tickets and he was asking his parents and it was a whole thing, but he's coming to Hawaii with us. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited for this trip and now that he's coming, I'm even more excited. So let's go shopping and hopefully we have better luck than we did yesterday. Okay, we're back and we were successful somewhat. So the first store I went to, they had some Kalani Kinis that I really liked, but I just really struggle spending so much money on swimsuits. It was $60 for the top and $60 for the bottom, which means I'm dropping $120 on a swimsuit. And I wasn't really sure how I felt about it, so I put it on hold, but it's good to know that it's there. And I'm gonna go home and just like look through all of my swimsuits one more time and just make sure that I can one, throw away any ones that I don't want anymore and then see if I have enough for this vacation. And you're probably like, Amelie, you have swimsuits, why do you need a new one? A lot of my old swimsuits are pretty cheap material and they aren't like very sturdy and I just don't really trust them. So going into 2024, I'm really trying to throw away my bad quality clothes and then invest in high quality clothes. A big part of that is gonna be swimsuits. So that's kind of why I'm trying to buy new swimsuits now. This is just like a good excuse to do it. And then I went to Lululemon and they were able to switch out the leggings. They gave me a full new pair. So I got these black ones. So my grandma is going to be getting a nice new pair of leggings so very successful now I'm gonna go home hang out with my grandparents and then I'll pick up the camera when I am prepping for vacation by looking through my swimsuits and maybe start packing I don't know I'm feeling really lazy so we'll see I finally decided to start packing and I wanted to show you guys I'm about to change your life if you do not have these packing cubes you need to run to get them I got them off of Amazon there are so many it really doesn't matter what type you get but it is going to make packing so much easier I'm an insane overpacker, but you just stuff everything and it always is gonna fit because if you can fit it in here it's gonna fit inside your suitcase ignore this because I'm still deciding if I'm gonna bring these dresses but I like to organize mine with, with like swimsuits this is like my workout clothes and pajamas and then over here we have like regular clothes I still have to fit these in and then I have like my shoes over here but it makes packing so much easier I'll try to remember and link some in the description box below but if not if you literally just look up packing cubes on Amazon they're gonna come up but they are a game changer but I'm almost done packing which is really nice and I don't leave until the day after tomorrow but I hate packing in a rush so I'm literally just gonna leave my suitcase right here on my floor and then just throw stuff in as I think about things that I'm gonna need. 
So that is all of the vacation prep that I'm doing. I'm gonna continue working out, eating as healthy as possible, just doing the things that make me feel good. I'm about to go over to one of my friend's house actually to borrow some of her swimsuits. So that was my pack with me slash prep for vacation vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you are following all of my social media platforms. I have Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, Snapchat, LTK, literally any platform you can think of, I have it. It is Amelie Desai. And make sure you're following because even though I try to post on YouTube as often as I can, these platforms are the ones that I post on every single day. And even though I'm vlogging Hawaii, if you wanna see the daily Hawaii content, make sure you are following those. With that, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.